Hello friends today I am going to review latest Marvel film. Black Widow. Story of film is Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow. Confronts the darker parts of her ledger when a dangerous conspiracy with ties to her past arises. Pursued by a force that will stop at nothing to bring her down. Natasha must deal with her history as a spy, and the broken relationships left in her wake long before she became an Avenger. Another Marvel movie that doesn't narrate the story of the main character but instead makes references about the other Marvel movies, past and future as well. The beginning is quite promising then everything falls into this deep rabbit hole that doesn't make sense anymore. Dialogues are confusing and the whole attempt on making everything funny, even on sensitive issues, is pure cringe. A whole milking the cow situation, Imo, it's not worth the two plus hours of watching. Black Widow's original story from the comics is great, it probably just needed some time adaptations but it would have made an amazing film. I'm definitely disappointed. Black Widow is the latest Marvel film and although I'd sworn off these films a while ago, due to sheer boredom, I was tempted back by the fact that this one stars a lady, Scarlett Johansson, and another lady, Florence Pugh, and even a third lady, Rachel Weitz, and is directed by a lady, Kate Shortland. Could be wonderful, I thought, except it isn't. More women is its only decent idea. Otherwise, it's business as usual. Otherwise, it's all formulaic bish bosh, smash crash action scenes broken up by lame jokes and lame philosophizing along the lines of, your pain only makes you stronger. Not if you're dying in hospital and they've run out of morphine, I was minded to shout at the screen. This is, in short, a dumb film with an even dumber film trying to climb out. If you like my review please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thanks you. This is directed by Michael Dweck and Gregory Kershaw and, visually, it is magnificent, with every scene framed like a gorgeous painting. Mostly, we're in the forests, famed for the rare white alba truffles which can't be cultivated and are prized by connoisseurs all over the world, somewhat mystifyingly. I recently bought some truffle-flavored crisps from a posh deli by mistake and just the smell made me wretch. But each to their own. The main characters, who are all in their 80s, are not named on screen, yet you'll come to recognize who's who and who has which quirks. Sergio plays rock drums and dotes on his dog, Fiona, lovingly blow-drying her after her bath. Aurelio shares the dinner table with his dog, Berber and bakes her a birthday cake and frets about what'll happen to her once he's gone, he's 88, but for now it's a happy life, we hunt truffle and then I make fondue. Angelo, a former womanizing circus acrobat, I enchanted them, I walked on stilts, that's fascinating, rails against, greed, and the modern world. Carlos persists on hunting at night with his dog Titina, a Labrador cross, I think, much to his wife's displeasure. You're too old, she keeps telling him. I want to hear the owl, he protests. Slowly, you build up a picture of this community where the priests bless dogs, the kindly local doctor attends to mishaps, truffle brokers strike deals on street corners and no one gets blown up, although Carlos does get thwacked in the face by a branch. This quietly and delicately says what it has to say about a way of life that may not be around much longer, without ever becoming twee. But if you are looking for a film in which whole cities are laid to waste, and fight scenes go on for what seems like forever, you'll want the other one for that. Thanks for watching. Take care.